Hey, Greg goes here. How you going? What are we up to? We're up to Daisy finally getting it done. Daisy, the ex army bus, as we found out. So, we've been doing a bit of searching of a ID plate that he had on a special one, and apparently, it's ex army, which this that would explain why all behind the dash there was all uh, in a dark green an army green sort of style so it would have been a like a nine seated troop carrier sort of dearly so um, in its past before someone got it and turned it into a camper and uh, yeah so a uh, long time no update on Daisy uh, it's been uh, quite the transformation you could say a lot of uh, rust repairs but not the worst we've seen not the best somewhere in between so uh yeah so this this panel here is all new um you've probably seen it from the last one the repairs that we did on it and the floor and everything else so now we're at the stage where it's been body worked um epoxied uh sanded again high filled re-sanded and now it is painted so on the roof itself um it's actually uh well you don't see any of that so because it had a lot of glue and stuff like that on it i just thought it's easier just to put a coat of black um two pack on there to seal it up so it doesn't rust because i think they're gonna go the owner's gonna go with uh re-gluing straight onto under the roof because of the design of this pop top it's only a small area that's open if you had this all abode headliner, it would give you less room in the back because the pop top's only a small area. So I think that's what we've decided to do. Glue straight onto there. That's why I've painted all the surrounds and that. Um, yeah, so it's going to be, uh, it's just all been cleaned inside. Like after blasted, it was epoxied. And uh, then over time we do work on it and you get welding splatter. So it was re-epoxied and then uh, a bit of seam sealer put around and it's just got um, the off-white two-pack on there now. So we're gonna soundproof all the top there. Uh, rock and roll beds going in. I think we're doing floorboards on this one or maybe just a, a ply floor like because it's uh, also a roadies vehicle for a band. So it's gotta be practical, gotta be able to slide slide gear out without worrying about damaging the floor but yeah i thought we'd start with uh getting the bottom color on first i normally do the top first but you know in reality it is actually easier to um mask off do your bottom first and then mask off the straight line on there rather than on trying to mask upside down on the on a curved surface so it can the tape can now just go straight on the flat that uh is a pretty neat finish i'm happy with that owner didn't want it perfect the the job's priced accordingly it's not you know it's not supposed to be a show car it's not supposed to be this absolutely pristine bus it's going to be a bus that's used it's going to be used for camping um that's why i put stone guard on the bottom not that you can really see it uh yeah so i'm pretty happy with that really because the panels weren't in the best condition they've had some repairs on there uh so yeah i'm really quite pleased with how it's come up it's it's a pretty nice bus so it's a very similar color to what it would have been uh painted uh not originally but when the owner first got it the blue is is you know it was heavily faded when it came here to get all its work done and the blue now has been given that lift but it is not far off the tone probably a, possibly a little bit brighter but you're going to get that brightness when it's got fresh paint anyway so super happy with that so i think the best thing's going to i was going to start doing the doors but i thought no get the body done tackle this top um and so that's what i'm going to do tomorrow um is to sand and paint the whole top part but you know all the inside's done 
all the bottoms done it's actually not a big area so really um and a lot of this is covered by the pop top virtually all the back so you don't have to go to nitpicking blocking down getting it all perfect because the pop top covers the whole thing so you only see a bit of roof across the front here which will have a look of nice so yeah again you know we can build a show car as good as anyone else but in this case this this isn't it you know this is just going to be a nice car um that we want long life out of so yeah so we've got that all done so now i'm gonna have to um, pressure wash inside there and blow some paint in the engine bay i'll probably put some blue in there i'd say uh yeah so just tidy that up basically you just gotta um yeah pressure wash it give it a bit of a scuff uh anything whether it's bare like along there blow a bit of primer on it a bit of edge primer or something even um and then just spray some paint on there get it tidied up it's not it's not supposed to be the surface that you could eat off although you probably could so uh so yeah the the only thing inside that's gonna be blue is the dash face top's gonna be black and across the face is in the blue so you get a little bit of color inside um but i think the trim inside is going to go in a uh a, like a red not a bright red but yeah so uh it's going to be cool looking forward to um yeah doing a bit more so we've obviously got the wheels i'll need to freshen up um it's got hub caps i think so we will probably paint them in the same white as the top the wheels and bang some caps on happy days one lovely 68 so good job without going to extremes uh